Dave Porter out here on location. I'm with Mike. Uh, Mike, you had the opportunity to tackle a paving uh, project in the back of your home. What were the things you were thinking? What were your concerns? And how did you go about uh, contracting with the contractor, the paving contractor, to find a quality paving contractor? And then uh, how'd you go about the process of, of really putting together a magnificent paving patio project? It was a big project. And in any big project, you want to make sure that the teams are aligned based on the staging of when things are going to occur. The second was financially. You know, in this market, it's, you know, it's all about, you know, keeping the dollar and making sure you're optimizing your, your resources. And I wanted a, a, a team that was fair, uh, provided a good product, a good service, and a good rate. And the third was, uh, it was important for us as a family, is this is our home, and this is where we're raising our kids, and, and really your home is, is your dream. And we wanted a team that was extremely creative, that could give us something that was different than the others. Once you found Northampton Nursery, uh, what was the next step? What actually occurred? How did communication play out in pulling this off? First, in regards to the process, I found that the Northampton team was extremely diligent. Uh, in their communication of the process. And there was a lot of give and take, and any, again, any major project, you know, you're going to have different discussions at certain points. I can remember at one time I was uh, on a business trip down in New Orleans and I got the call from uh, John and he said, uh, we haven't talked about lighting for the entire uh, land or patio situation. He said, but as the walls are coming up, he said, now is the time to really talk about it. He said, we'll save a little bit money, more money on the, on the front if we do it now versus waiting to have to go back and, and rebuild. Uh, so, so that discussion of the process really, really helped. Um, I think the next was in regards to the financials. Uh, we were touching base every two weeks to understand where we were at in, you know, in our in our agreement to make sure that we were on, and if there was any uh, aboves or belows that we were we were discussing those. And the third is there came a point about halfway through the through the project that we wanted to do a little bit more, that we wanted to, to, to blow out a wall and make it a little bit you know, more curvy, just to, to say. And, uh, and it ended up that, that that was a very good discussion. Um, my wife had a lot of input to it, and you know, I, I did as well. And, and the team at Northampton was extremely accommodating in those discussions of, can we make it a little bit more creative and thoughts back and forth. And we've recommended Northampton to other friends in the neighborhood. They have also, uh, found them extremely uh, accommodating and you know within budget and within reason and it's, it's it's been great so they've grown as well as used uh, you know our project as a backdrop for them we appreciate that endorsement and and you know we believe in Northampton nursery not only do we believe in them we know they have the right values first and foremost it starts with values as, as Mike's alluded to and then from the values obviously you're looking at the expertise the focus the attention to detail the, the, from the landscape lighting to to all the details that it takes to pull off a masterpiece like this.